Good morning, everyone. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so uh, this subject, surface hydrology, I hope uh, whoever has opted this subject, uh, they all have joined. Most probably all have not joined. Okay, so only 26 and I guess there are 42 uh, students opting for this subject. Okay, so this is your first class today and uh, this subject it will be uh, you know like uh, taken by me okay uh, and also uh, Anurupa ma'am okay so we both will share this subject so might probably like uh, two chapters or two and a half chapters will be taken by me and uh, the last two chapters will be taken by her okay so uh, first of all, since this is an elective subject and uh, you have opted for surface hydrology and not for water quality engineering. So uh, first I want to know why you uh, have opted for this subject. Is there any uh, reason like uh, you know about this subject a little bit or what is the reason that you have opted for surface hydrology? Can any one of you tell me? Yes. You have opted, opted this subject for any, uh, you have interest in this subject, you know a little bit of this subject. What is the reason that you opted for this subject only? No one? Okay, I guess you have seen the syllabus and then you have opted, right? Okay. We took hydrology in fourth sem and I find it interesting to learn. Okay. Okay. So in fourth sem, you had hydrology subject. Oh, yes, you had that subject. Okay. So basically, this hydrology that you got in fourth semester, it is, you know, very similar with this uh, uh, this subject also but there actually you have learned about uh, both your surface and your underground uh, hydrology okay but here since the name suggests it is only about the surface hydrology okay it will we will be dealing only about the surface of the earth okay surface of the earth or above the ground whatever is happening so we will learn about this uh, part okay so basically we all know that you know like water it is like one of the most important it is a natural resource okay so without water yeah, I, you know, like there will be no life on earth. So you know how much important this water it, it is. Yes. So this supply of water, you know, that is uh, the uh, that is available for our use. It is, you know, very limited in nature. Okay. So it is limited. So whatever supply that is available for our use, it is, you know, like uh, from the nature, it is very limited. So hydrology, basically hydrology is what? It is the study of water. Okay. Hydrology, it is the study of water, uh, which, you know, it deals with the like uh, occurrence also. It deals with the distribution. Also, you can say it deals with the uh, the properties of water and also it, it deals with the movement of water on the earth. So basically it is like hydrology, it is the study of, you know, like uh, the occurrence also you can see distribution and movement and also the whole properties of water that is on the earth, okay. So, you know, it also, this hydrology subject, it also tells you or it gives you or it, it studies about the, you know, the relationship between the, you know, environment and also like we have hydrologic cycle. I hope everyone knows about hydrologic cycle. So, it gives the relation between both the environment and also the hydrologic cycle. Okay. And also, you know, the uh, concept of this, uh, you know, hydrology or the science of hydrology, it is basically the whole thing, it is related with the hydrologic cycle only or the water cycle also, it is same. Okay. The other name of hydrologic cycle also, you can say as to be water cycle. 
so basically the you know you have you should have a knowledge on hydrology because you know it is also required for the you know development and also the uh, for the evaluation of this water resources engineering so both are interrelated so basically uh, this uh, hydrology you have now known about this hydrology and you know the this branch uh, of this uh, or this hydrology it is concerned with the you know the water uh, that is coming from the rainfall okay it is it is of concern is the water that is coming from the rainfall or you can see from the snowfalls or from the streams okay then lakes we have reservoirs we have so many things we have we have so many resources like snow we have ice from ice also we have so basically this hydrology it is concerned with all these things okay and also you can say that this is and you can uh, say that hydrology it is also you know it is an interdisciplinary subject okay so in the uh, field of this fluid mechanics or you know geology or chemistry or physics so whatever in in agriculture also so this hydrology it is an interdisciplinary uh, subject in this all these fields and it is also a very important subject you know for human beings also and both for the human beings and for the environment also okay so this is all about your hydrology so uh, first of all let me uh, share the syllabus i hope everyone has got the syllabus but still let me show you the syllabus <clears throat> Okay, so this is the syllabus for your surface hydrology. Okay, so this is a credit of your uh, three subject credit. So uh, here we have the uh, five modules we have. Okay, number one is your hydrometeorology. Okay, then precipitation, abstraction, stream flow measurement, and your runoff and water conservation. So from my side, I will be taking uh, like this two chapters might be or two and a half chapters. This first module, second module and the half of the third module will be taken by me. And also uh, that number four and number five will be taken by your uh, other teacher that is Anirupa Amin. Okay. So first of all and uh, also about the books, if you want to uh, buy uh, the books, you can buy this applied hydrology buy you know uh, this uh, chow vt it's a good book and also you can also buy this hydrology that is written by uh, subramania k okay so this is also a good book if you want to buy you can buy both these books or any one of them you can buy so uh, today i won't be going very you know uh, so much in depth but I have given you a brief idea about hydrology or surface hydrology. So basically today I will be, um, this one I will share to you, okay? This one I will share and uh, uh, let me, okay. So first thing that you have to learn is about the hydrologic cycle so module one the first thing is your hydrologic cycle i know this one is uh, you know like known by everyone so okay this picture you can see it is a schematic uh, representation of this hydrologic cycle so first what is actually you know uh, this hydrologic cycle okay so this hydrologic cycle you can say that it is you know it is the main concept of you know the science of this hydrology and what is hydrology hydrology it is the study of the earth's water okay so this much is clear to you so now basically what is hydrologic cycle you can say you know due to this uh, our the radiation from the sun or due to the or due to the solar radiation also you can say so what is happening is that the water okay that is available in the ocean or the you know in the lakes or any other you know body uh, water bodies on this surface of this earth so what is happening due to solar radiation the part of this you know like water from this oceans or rivers from or any other like the water bodies on the earth surface these are evaporating in a gaseous form okay so these waters are evaporating in a 
gaseous form. Then what is happening? This, uh, uh, this uh, whatever is uh, you know evaporating in gaseous form, it is also it is uh, known as your water vapor. Okay, so this water vapor it moves directly towards the sky. Okay, so this water vapor it it is you know uh, moving towards the sky, and what is happening? It is forming a cloud. Okay, whatever clouds you see in the sky, so basically that is the water vapor that is moving from the, you know, the water bodies towards the sky and as a result it is forming a cloud. Okay, so during the process of evaporating, you know, evaporating or when it, or how, how, like the water vapor is moving towards the sky during that uh, time, also what is happening, you know, a part of water it, uh, it and uh, that is from you know uh, known as transpiration transpiration is happening so what is transpiration that a part of water that is present in the plants okay so plants also they have water so a part of water that is you know uh, uh, from the plants it is also evaporating to you know towards the sky to form the clouds and this is process is known as your transpiration Okay, so now the, the these clouds they uh, you know these are formed. So after these clouds are formed, so they will you know they will condense. These clouds will condense and they will fall back. Okay, they will fall back to this water bodies like your ocean. It might be uh, lakes or any water bodies. Okay, so it will these clouds it will condense and it will fall back to this uh, water bodies in the form of what in the form of rain. Okay, as rain, it might fall, uh, it, it might be uh, in the form of a rain also, it might be in the form of snow also, or it might be in the form of hail or there is sleet, okay. So, in these forms, they are again coming back to the ocean rivers or any other water bodies, okay. So, now, it, this precipitation, okay, a part of this precipitation or this, uh, you know, precipitation is what the water which is, uh, you know, falling from the clouds. So, a part of this precipitation, what will happen? They will again evaporate, okay. While in the process of falling down to the water bodies, a part of this precipitation, they will evaporate, okay. And another part, okay, a some part will evaporate and another part will, what will happen? It will be, you know, if, uh, intercepted, it will be intercepted by these trees, okay, by the leaves of these trees. And also in vegetation also some part will be intercepted and that is process is known as your interception, okay. This in this part can again, it can again evaporate, okay. So now, what happens is that the major portion of this, you know, uh, this precipitation or this, uh, what from the clouds, whatever precipitation is happening. So the major portion, it actually falls on the surface of the earth. Okay. And also a part of this precipitation, it, it will flow above the ground surface. Okay. And that is known as your infiltration. Okay, a part of this water, it will, you know, flows, it will flow as runoff. Runoff is what? The water which flows above the ground surface, okay, and that water, it doesn't infiltrate, okay. So, that portion, uh, a part of this portion, it will flow as runoff and where it will go? It will go to some depressions, okay. There are depressions in the ground surface, okay. So, this infiltrated water, it will go to these depressions, uh, these depressions, it can be either river, it can be either lakes, okay. So, then, what happens then a part of this portion this uh, flows as runoff then after this runoff is happening again at the same time what is happening some of this water it will infiltrate into the ground surface okay it will go into the ground surface and it will be stored there okay and that is with that will be stored as your groundwater storage okay and that, that will become a seepage Okay, their seepage will happen and it will go towards the depression and it, it is happening below the ground surface. So, basically what is happening is that that runoff, it goes ultimately to the, you know, uh, outlet. 
it is basically the runoff or this in the below the ground whatever water is there so it basically goes to the outlet that is uh, finally it is going to the river or uh, you can say from the river it again goes to the seas or the oceans so this again again from this uh, thing from the river again this evaporation will happen again this transpiration will happen so the same thing is happening again and again from this again river again uh, the water it will evaporate and it will go back to the uh, sky as your clouds okay it will form clouds and again the clouds will condense and it will fall back to the you know earth surface okay so the same process is repeating again and again which is known as your hydrologic cycle okay so this cycle of water that is happening on the earth it is continuing again and again and it is known as your hydrologic cycle okay i hope this is a very uh, hydrologic cycle is very easy but uh, and also you have already got this uh, this uh, topic but then also i want to repeat because it is the heart and soul of hydrology so you have to know what is a hydrologic cycle okay so today i won't be uh, much uh, going in depth about uh, this subject okay so i will be sharing with you uh, the syllabus then hydrologic cycle is clear to you then after that we will be starting in from the next class we will be starting with the main main topics okay so i hope uh, i hope this hydrologic cycle is clear to you so hmm, as today all the students they haven't joined so please tell your friends to join from the next class because uh, your attendance otherwise it will be uh, going okay as waste so tell everybody to join and now i am taking the attendance just wait Roll number one, two, three. Yes, ma'am. Roll number three. Ma'am, roll number two. Okay, two. Roll number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Present, ma'am. Roll number. Ma'am, thirteen. Twelve. 12 and 13, okay. 14, 15. Yes, roll number 14. Ma'am, 14. Okay. Yes, ma'am. 15, 16, 17, 18. Present, ma'am. Roll number? 17, present, ma'am. Okay, 17. 18, 19. Yes, ma'am. Roll number 18. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 18. Okay, 18. 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26 present, ma'am. 26, 27, 28, 29. Yes, ma'am. 28. 29, 28. Yes, ma'am. 28. Okay. 29, 30. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 30, 31, 32. 33. Present, ma'am. Roll number? 32. 32. 33. 34. 35. 36. 37. Present, ma'am. 36, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 37. 38. 39. 40. Present, ma'am. 39. 39. Present, ma'am. 39. Okay. 40. 41. 42, 43, 44, 45. Present, ma'am. Ma'am, 44. Okay, 44. 44. 45, 46, 47, 40. Present, ma'am. 40. How much? Seven. Seven, okay. 48. Seven. Okay, okay. 48, 49, 50, 51. 